Sup, sup, Lappers. Welcome back to another video. So today, there's a couple things on the table. Actually, first and foremost, I'm going to show you guys how to set up your kind of like two-factor. Actually, no, it's not kind of. It is a two-factor authentication. It's just, it's not some sort of in-house developed crazy system. The whole just kind of added on a two-factor step for you to use to secure your account through linking it to an email. So I'm going to show you guys that really quick. And of course, we're going to touch on the EULA banner as well as the weapon banner a little bit. Um, kind of just break down my thoughts on why EULA could be good. Maybe it's not for you. Also about the four stars on the banner. And then, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about the, the weapon banner. Okay, that's going to be uh, that's going to be everything for this video. So make sure you like and subscribe if this kind of stuff helps you out enjoy this kind of content. So with that said, let's get right into the video. So if you go to the Genshin official website, I'm going to link this uh, below in the description. And you can go here. Right now, I suggest you guys go do this, go here, click account, and then uh, go and it'll bring you to this page. And then you go down to login devices. This is uh, this is a new section that they added in. And as you can see, uh, this is uh, my my device. And um, I'm going to show you guys a screenshot on screen of what this two factor authentication process looks like when it works. Uh, as I am currently still doing a couple giveaways, delivering some prizes. So I did run into how it works and how I had to work with the other person to to make sure I can get them the prize. Essentially, you get a 60 second timer from the moment it pops up. I did not go all the way to zero. So I don't know what happens if it fails or whatnot. If you fail to enter the code, does it lock you out? Does it make this device? Does it flag this device or whatnot? But guaranteed, a code was required. It was sent to their email and I had to uh, get them to send me the code so I can access their account, which is completely fine. But if you are unsure of what is going on, you, you for example, if you come in here and you see six different login devices, holy smokes, man, I would suggest you delete every single one and then go into your game and log in from your game. And it's going to ask you for the code from the email. First of all, you have to be linked to an email. Then it's gonna ask you for the code. And then once you enter it from your computer, you know that's your computer. And it, it'll once again pop up here being like, hey, this is the this is the device. It'll be saved. And uh, as long as you don't delete it from here, you don't have to uh, use two-factor authentication every time as long as you're logging in from your device, okay? People take this stuff seriously. I've had many people reach out to me saying, man, you know, I didn't take your advice. I didn't secure my account when I watched your, you know, account security video and I got hacked. You know, it, it really sucks. And uh, most most of them did get their accounts back. But why take that risk? This will take you no longer than a minute to two minutes and you get account security. Okay, please, please go do this right now. This is a very new addition. Go get this done, people. Protect your accounts and stay safe. Okay, now let's jump in the game and Let's talk about the banner, all right? <laughs> Let's talk about this. So I did a poll and I think many YouTubers have done polls on their uh, on their channels and saying, hey, are you polling for EULA? Are you guys interested in EULA? Hey, who's polling for EULA? Most people say no. I think it's currently it's like 40 something percent says yes and 60 percent says no, okay? Which is fine. I think uh, to be, if you're gonna ask me, do I think it, EULA is gonna be this uh, worthwhile carry to invest your resources into is she gonna be amazing is she's gonna be you know game changing game breaking i would honestly say no i made videos talking about this so i'm not gonna dwell on eula herself too much let's talk about this more as the banner that we have here on screen xinyan xinchu beidou to be completely honest xinyan yes she has a niche use i think if you're going to be pulling for this banner, you really want to go for Eula. While Xingqiu is an amazing, amazing, phenomenal, otherworldly support DPS unit, along with Beidou being, you know, very great to use as well. It, it just doesn't work without Eula, right? It, it, like if you're going to go for, hey, I'm going to pull on this banner just for Xingqiu. Well, good luck, man. I, I, last banner, it took me like 70 pulls just to get one copy of Yanfei. What are we talking about here? You, you, you know, you, you likely there's a good chance that you will be spending just as much summons or primos or money going f sniping one four star unit on the banner than it would cost you to go actually proc a five star. And if you're thinking of skipping the banner for whoever is coming up next, you know, rerun banners or new characters, are you really taking that 50 50 risk to get Eula just for the chance of getting a couple Xing Chus? Right? If you are sitting at a fresh pity, zero, I'd say go for it. Uh, if 
as long as you need both Ching Chu, let's say, and Beidou, I wouldn't really snipe one single four star on a banner. No matter how, even if it's Bennett, I wouldn't suggest you go snipe it because the amount of resources it's going to cost you, it's absolutely insane if you just hit an unlucky stride. Unlike the five star, four stars has no guarantee, all right, people? So be very, very careful. If you want Xin Yan, Xin Chu, and Beidou, but you really don't want Eula, I'd say go all the way up until like 50, 60 summons, right? If you get a 5-star under 50, within 50 summons, I'd take that as a win, regardless if it's Eula or not. You're saving yourself uh, 25, 26, potentially 30 to 40 summons worth of uh, pity summons, right? So that's going to be fine. But only if you need at least two, if not all three of the four stars. If you're getting constellations, they're your main unit or whatnot. Now, synergy-wise, of course, Mahoyo has been very smart. They're pairing up great synergies, right? You got Super Conduct with Beidou. You got Xin Yan's second talent, which uh, further reduces uh, physical resistance, I believe. Or no, it increases your physical damage. I think that's it. And then we got Xing Chu, who is just perfect support DPS to almost any character. And with Yula hitting pretty fast, as we've seen from her trailer videos, I'd imagine Xing Chu is going to be yet another great unit to pair with Yula for that freeze combo okay so that's gonna be that for this banner people understand what you're going for if you're just going for xing chu i'd say wait people don't do it and uh, for the vast majority of people really wait until patch 1.6 preview which i will do a live translation for the cn one the second it drops so guys make sure to subscribe if you guys are curious for that and that's gonna be that for this eula banner let's go and talk about the weapon banner now, really, people, what do you really want me to say when it comes to the weapon banner? I, I mean, uh, it, it, it's really for whales, although the weapons on this uh, banner, the four star weapons, do have some value to them, except for whatever the hell this thing is. But all four of these weapons do have their specific uses, depending on whether or not you're building these characters. The Sacrificial Sword is currently... Uh, it is so good, right? It's so good in the current Spiral Abyss. I hope, you know, most people watching this at least have a Refinement 2, Refinement 3, if you're serious about challenging the Abyss with, you know, lots of four-star characters. Rust is a great weapon. Physical DPS, right? They really cater this entire banner to help you push through the Abyss. When it comes to the five-star options, if you don't have either of them and you have a built-up Kaching and you're definitely going to go for Eula, I'd say there is no harm in giving this banner a shot until you proc a five-star and then you're done. Completely fine. If you don't need both of these weapons, skip it, skip it, skip it, or just summon for some four stars. Uh, if you need the sacrificial sword, sacrificial um, catalyst, and the rust, right? Three out of the five weapons I think it's safe to go for. That's going to be that for this uh, banner. Uh, weapon banners, it's not too much to talk about. It's always about what you need and how much you're willing to, uh, to gamble for something. So that's going to be it for this video. Guys, make sure to protect your accounts. I'm going to be doing a live stream tomorrow. I'm going to be summoning for Eula, myself, and for some of my viewers. Also, I'm going to be potentially doing a Eula giveaway sometime during her banner, so do stay tuned for that. Exciting times ahead of us right now. I'm also going to be doing a teapot competition where the winner will get to win big prizes. Okay, so everybody, stay tuned for all this content coming up. I hope you guys are having fun. I hope no one here is too burnt out. If you're feeling burnt out, do take a break. Anyways, that's going to be it from me. I hope to see you all during my live stream tomorrow. We'll probably give away a couple goodies here and there. And of course, as always, stay safe and peace, peace. Bye.